It's Meg and Daisy, and for today's video is uh, about my beautiful and unique uh, perfume bottle. So stay tuned. So for tonight's video or today, wherever you are, uh, I just like to show you uh, my unique and um, beautiful bottles that I have in my collection. And as I've mentioned before from my previous videos, that I am a sucker for beautiful and unique bottles. And disclaimer, guys, this is not just uh, this. I mean, this is not to brag uh, or to show off what I have. It's just that I just want to share what. Uh, are the perfumes that are perfume bottles that I find unique and beautiful and also I know it's bad uh, thing to do but uh, for me I buy a, a perfume sometimes and also sometimes I base only on the bottles and not minding the scent I know it's bad it's not the right thing to do but uh, that's just me and I'm trying not to do that uh, as much right now so yeah so without so much talking like let's proceed to the video so the first one that i got is of course the ever classic and very beautiful sophisticated bottle i know this is not a very unique um, bottle this is just a very plain one but uh, i find them uh, of course very sophisticated and elegant and this is Chanel number no. 5 low also these are my honorable mention also this is uh, Miss Dior blooming bouquet same thing nothing, spe nothing special but of course the beauty of uh, the elegance of being um, simple is very very attractive S same with um, YSL Mon Paris. This is just a simple um, bottle, but what makes it unique is also this a this bow tie that is a very um, beautiful and attractive to look at. So those are my honorable mention. And first is this um, Versace. Uh, I have few perfume bottles that I find very unique and beautiful and um, very attractive from the uh, Versace line but this one is a little bit tacky because uh, of this big lid but the logo is there on the top yeah but this one is a very unique and actually this is not a not a very heavy uh, bottle but it's too big so I prefer the 30 ml bottle because um, it, the lid is a little bit smaller but yeah it's a unique one for me also the be delicious one it's just a circle bottle but a very unique shape but the thing is this one is a little bit harder to hold especially when you have a small hand um here's another beautiful bottle from Versace it's so um unique guys right I don't know I'm sorry if you will always hear me say unique beautiful attractive but that's that's how I find this bottle and this one as well this is a Versace Dylan blue and this reminds me of a genuine bottle um very nice uh, it has this uh, Medusa logo and I'm sorry I'm not telling anything about this perfume because I don't want this to, take, uh, to be a long video because I have quite a lot to show also this one is the CK bottle into you her um, this one reminds me of a um, soda bottle or um, soy sauce bottle here in the philippines or a liquor bottle but what makes it unique is the bottom there's this a weird unique um thing down there and uh also this versace red jeans it's like a coca-cola bottle the the classic one so this is a unique and also 
kind of old already from uh, celebrity set this is from uh, uh, Adam Levine and this one looks like a microphone and this is a very powdery scent or floral orient I mean oriental fragrance also this one from um, Nina Ricci and this is new on uh, low I forgot the name Nina Ricci low but the thing is this uh, uh, atomizer the sprayer leak so the the neck of the nozzle is a little bit uh, tarn not tarnished but I know something happened there so yeah but for the bottle it's very very unique and attractive for the Zara N uh, nothing so fancy nothing nothing so special but uh, this one reminds me of like um, nail polish bottle and this one is like a cup syrup bottle to me and if the, if you will change this it looks like a feeding bottle <laughs> feeding bottle for the babies um, from of course this um, fancy by Jessica Simpson this looks like magical to me um, you know when they where they put uh, the magic potion so yeah that's what reminds me of very enchanting and this one as well uh, from Trusardi Dona it's look like a flask hmm this one from lovely i know i know this bottle is just a regular or simple bottle but every time i look at this bottle it reminds me of the movie uh i forgot the name but the character is big and my son used to watch that movie and it's a very nice story as well so um that's what it is um also this one from london this bottle is like a dress like a princess dress so this is a very girly young scent also from this line Moschino I love love this looks this reminds me of olive oil and when you pull the lid it's like you're removing the head of olive oil and here's another bottle but I find this weird I don't know why but every uh, everything or anything that has eye makes me um, it look it's kind of weird for me it feels like it's looking at me so it's kind of creepy but um, the scent is very nice uh, fresh and refreshing also from this Gucci line this is Gucci bamboo and this is a very um, architectural um, design or the bottle is very architectural this it's the bamboo shape like cup uh, also this is a kind of weird looking uh, hexagon shape bottle of course the viva la juicy lines or the juicy couture lines they have a very attractive uh, unique eye-catching attention grabber perfumes perfume bottles so this is a fun girly scent a very sweet one um and so as the other lines this one as well so with regards to the bottle it's just a, a plain bottle but what makes it unique is the lid it's look like a crown very nice scent um of course this one from the Valentino Valentina pink uh, line this one is a very unique as well it is a ve berries scent with uh, sweet berry scent and look at the color guys aside from the uh, uniqueness of the bottle and the color as well it's very eye-catching and this flower thing here uh, has a story I've, I've watched a youtuber um, made a review of this one but uh, she mentioned that uh, the maker of this design um, or that this this flower thing going on it reminds uh, or resembles a body part of a woman so yeah 
this one as well from um, Chloe this reminds of a padlock um, of course uh, from the Daisy Mark Jacob Mark Jacobs Daisy line um, they are very attention grabbing um, perfume bottles as well look at the crap uh, craftsmanship and the design it's very pretty very girly and I really love them also this one from uh, Mark Jacobs as well this is a uh, violet and i believe this perfume is discontinued already so it's harder to find it, this one looks like a bee it's just from a little bit over decorated to me but it's a very unique bottle as well this one from lolita limpica this is sweet i i ordered the original one but um, that perfume is also discontinued so i believe uh, it's harder to find uh, same as this one so I'm, I'm hoping that I I get the the bottle same as this but this thing came in also that design is very uh, millennial st structural so yeah um, of course the bottle from the Elisab the the pet petals all over the bottle so um, of course, this one uh, from Tresor Lanui. This is the Musk Vivian. Divan. I'm sorry if I butchered that name, but this one also a very unique, non-traditional bottle. It's like a diamond, so uh, I don't know if it has to sit like this or this way or uh, lie, laying down. So, but yeah, of course, this one from... Um, um, very one princess it's like a heart shape um bottle uh, and this uh, ring and crown uh, it's a very girly perfume and this one as well from a part of candy it's like it looks like or reminds me of a robot <laughs> sorry guys but yeah it reminds me of a robot also this one from Moschino one. This is a very cute bottle. A toy. Moschino toy too. It's a very cute bottle. Also, this one from uh, Carolina Herrera. And it's like a capsule to me. And it's very unique as well. So, you will, you can get off or you can remove the bottle from the side. This is a plastic Um it's not lid I don't know holder I don't know not, uh, that's how it looks like it's a capsule um this one as well this is a pretty bottle and heart shape one see from angels refer I don't know if I say it right also did I mention the trusardi I guess so Hmm, what else? I forgot to mention. Oh, I have here uh, Elizabeth Arden. So it's like a, a regular shaped bottle, but it's like a tall tower or building to me where this area, the helipad uh, land, or the, this is the helipads where the helicopter landed. So it's like a very beautiful and unique bottle to me as well. And I have here some few minis, um, of course. The ever famous Carolina Herrera. This is a ten or fifteen or seven mil. I can't. I can't say. It's hard to find. I it can't. It's not written. But anyway, this too looks like a stiletto shoes. So very unique. Also from the line of Moschino. This too. It's like a Windex bottle. Very unique. I know. Um. I, I know there's another one of this but uh, I don't have it with me I want to look or I want to have that in my collection as well of course the every famous Jumpo Gaultier but I only have the mini ones it's a very nice and very non-traditional very scandalous bottle 
this one as well, as well from Anna Sui. I forgot the name of this perfume. But it's this a very girly enchanted um, bottle. This is a unicorn. Of course from Jean Paul Gaultier as well. This is the classic. A body shape like bottle. And I have here two bon uh, Victor and Rolf. These are, this one is Bonbon and this is um flower bomb and they looks like this one looks like a grenade and this one is um a bow this is a very sweet perfume gourmand sweet perfume this is a um floral overload perfume as well and also this one from um what you call this jimmy chew this one also looks like or reminds me of a grenade um what else I forgot to mention this is also a beautiful bottle from Signorina this reminds me of a Christmas uh, gift it's like a the regular box and then comes with a beautiful bow and this one as well from Valentino this is Valentino Dona Aqua it is like a spiky glass um, bottle so very unique non-traditional for me um what else if i forgot to mention so basically that's it guys for uh my video i know i have nothing much to say but i find them unique and beautiful and non-traditional bottles so of course uh um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and uh if you have it if you, if you haven't or you have not or not yet been a subscriber i would love if you consider subscribing to my channel click that uh, red subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell so next time i upload new videos you will get notified and updated so thank you all so much for watching um also this one i forgot to mention this one this is a beautiful bottle as well right guys yeah so anyways um that's all for today's video and uh do you have any unique bottles in your collection as well uh if you do please comment down below uh, i would love to know your uh beautiful and unique bottles in your collection so see you again next time guys thank you for watching bye I forgot to mention this perfume guys this is Bulgari Crystalline Omnia Crystalline and this bottle is also unique it looks like an alien robot to me and reminds me of the movie Wall-E the girl robot there I have the big version of this one but it's not yet uh, open it's not open but I will just insert the picture of the bottle and it's also a uh, quite a unique bottle as well so thank you again for watching bye